Hey, this is Dr. Renicki with Cellgen Regenerative Medicine in Savannah, Georgia. So I want to take a moment to talk with you about how many stem cells are you going to wind up with after we've got done a stem cell injection. So I've discussed in a previous video, the particular supplier that we use has a test called flow cytometry that they've had done to find out that after all is said and done, after the freeze and after the thaw, that there's still over 800,000 viable stem cells in there. They originally start off with 1.1 million, but they're not gonna all survive the freeze-thaw cycle, but we still wind up with 800,000 of those. Now those stem cells are gonna to start to replicate every 28 hours. So what'll happen is that they will become a new stem cell and a specialized or differentiated cell. So remember what that means that we discussed in a previous video is that differentiation is becoming specifically a skin cell, a muscle cell, a bone cell, a ligament cell, or whatever type of cell the body needs at that moment. So now this new stem cell that was created by that can split again and split again and so on. And so you wind up with 65 generations of that happening before the stem cells finally stop splitting and just become all those cells. But by the time all is said and done, you wind up with something in the order of about 60 million new muscle, bone, cartilage, skin, or whatever type of tissue cells. And it's not gonna become a random mix of those, it's gonna become whatever the body says is needed. Your body has chemical messengers that will signal the stem cell to become this specific type of cell, whether that's a cartilage cell, or a tendon cell, or a muscle cell, or whatever your body needs, it will specialize into that specific one. When you have enough of those, then the body may say, now we've got all the cartilage cells that we need, but we could also use perhaps some more muscle cells. And now some more of those stem cell generations will become muscle cells. So there's really a pretty impressive amount of repair and regeneration that can come out of just one milliliter of stem cells. And by the way, those numbers, that 1.1 million and 800,000 stem cells, that's per milliliter. So if you're getting more than one milliliter done at a time, then you can double, triple, even quadruple that 60 million new, uh, new tissue cells, differentiated specialized cells. So again, lots and lots of rebuild and repair that can happen with that sort of thing. So I encourage you to find out if regenerative medicine could be a tool that could help you and that could really aid you in your path to recovery. All you have to do is give our office a call or attend one of our workshops or talks around town and we'd be happy to find out if you're a good candidate for regenerative medicine or not. Feel free to post any questions or comments below. Thanks for your time and attention. Again, Dr. Nikki with Cellgen Regenerative Medicine in Savannah, Georgia.